Hey guys, and welcome to the Pendulum Thunder Family deck profile. So as you guys know, this deck has been taken off of Daily Duels and replaced with Pension Chaos Dragons. That episode will be going up at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Time, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you want to see the actual episode of Daily Duels where I'm actually dueling, go ahead and go over there. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and give you the deck profile. So, we run one T-King, of course, you know, this being a Thunder Family deck, you run T-King not only because he's a Thunder, but also because he's a Light, also because he's awesome. Thunder King, stay at one, too powerful. Win condition, sometimes. <laughs> we run three Thunder Seahorse. The more cards I can get to my hand, the better, you know. Not only for just Thunder Family plays, but also for, you know, just more monsters in my hand, the better my Pendulum Summon will be, correct? So, definitely uh, Thunder Seahorse. Uh, being ran at three, you can just discard it and add two. You know, set your recklesses, your trentals, your even your upstars if you have to. Just make sure you don't have to discard during the end phase. Next turn, go pendulum and look at all the cards that you got. Run three Mahundra, of course. You know, uh, when she's normal summon, you summon a different uh, normal. I mean, you summon a different level one. I mean, a level four light thunder monster, except for Mahundra. Uh, you run three, I mean, yeah, you run three Paul Hunter, I'm just messing up today, which pretty much does the exact same thing as Maw Hunter, except you can't summon Paul Hunter with Paul Hunter, you can't summon Maw Hunter with Maw Hunter, but, yeah, these, these, these guys, these two of your bread and butter of the deck, they, they, they allow you to go into the place that you want to do. And we run three Sis Hunter, I really don't recommend running three Sis Hunter if you're just going to run a regular, uh, Thunder Family or Hunter deck, uh, because you got to run like back row and all that extra stuff, but this deck doesn't really need it because it's always focused on pendulum. So, like I said, the more monsters you can get to your hand, the better. So, you know, if you can drop an additional assist hunter, that's another XC play. Or, you know, if you need to uh, recycle your uh, Thunder Seahorse, you know, that's also good as well. So, um, this deck runs three. And you run three Violent Prism. This is another card that, you know, you can run two, you can run three. It's your personal preference and just that Thunder Hunter family deck. But, uh, me personally, like I said, the more monsters, the better, so, right, and three, you know, if I can drop one or two of them during, uh, a, a Pendulum Summon, that's more synchroing, that's more exciting for me, so, yep. And, of course, run one Honest, because everybody in here is light. Now, on to the Pendulum Monsters, we run three Odd Eyes. Odd Eyes is pretty much the best, uh, Pendulum Monster. From the Pendulum Zone, during the end phase, you can destroy him, and, and you can get one Pendulum Monster with 1,500 attacker left from your deck to your hand, so... Pretty much like a little mini rota for all Pendulum Monsters. Definitely the best card. I mean, he is the TV show card, so definitely so. You put him in the Pendulum Zone, and when he's destroyed, you put him in the extra deck because, you know, he's a Pendulum Monster, so he's destroyed, he goes to the extra deck, and then you get to search for your Pendulum Monster. When you Pendulum Summon with the two Magicians, their range is between 1 and 8, so you can summon anything 2 to 7. Odd Eyes being the extra deck is between 2 and 7, being 7, so you can summon him back as well. So, pretty much he is a, a double sword, and he is awesome. Alright, uh, next we go to Machina of Chronomancy, of course he is our 8th, and pretty much he has no synergy with anybody else, which is uh, dumb, you know, uh, if you don't have a Magician card or Odd Eyes in the Pendulum Zone, he becomes 4, so, you know, you gotta have a Magician card or Odd Eyes in the zone, or else he is going to be no use in this deck, he needs to be 8, you know, you need to have that big, big zone, because if he's 4, Everybody else is four, so you can't summon it because it has to be in between. Um, you cannot activate this card. You control. You can only activate this card if you control no monsters. So keep that in mind. So if you have monsters on the field, you can't even put this guy in the pendulum zone. So yeah. Also, if uh, pendulum monster you control battles, your opponent cannot activate any trap cards until the end of the damage step. And it's monster effect if he's in the monster zone because you know we're running multiple of him. So we happen to pendulum summon him. You know we drew a multiple of him. We pendulum summon him. His effect wise in the monster zone and reads, once per turn, cards in your pendulum zone cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So, you know, you can go ahead and protect the pendulum monsters that are in the pendulum zone. Next, we run three of the Magician of Astromancy. So, his ability while he's in the pendulum zone, he's pretty much the one, and also, just like the Chronomancy, uh, you got the Magician card or an Odd Eyes in the zone, or he becomes four, and once again, you don't want that. So, if a pendulum monster you control battles your opponent's monster, I mean, battles your opponent cannot activate uh, spell cards until the end of the damage step. So, one covers traps, one covers spells. That's cute. His uh, 
his his attack his effect when he's in the monster zone is once per turn, exactly one pendulum monster you control is returned from your hand by your opponent's card effects, you can special summon a monster with the same name as the return monster from your hand. So pretty much if they can pulse you, you can just rap right right back. It's not that good. It's it's really not. <laughs> that effect is not that good. But you need these two to go into your pendulum plugs. They are the best pendulum monsters right now. And uh definitely they're just really good. Next we run three recycling batteries. You know, that's also another one of those personal choice cards. Some people like to play two, some people think it's clocky, but like I said, the more monsters you can add to your hand the better. So if you can get your pendulum zone set up and get ready pendulum summon, you can go recycling batteries and add everybody back from your graveyard and just drop everybody on your opponent. You know, it's a pretty good play. So definitely through recycling batteries. Dark hole because the deck is kinda slow, so you want might want to dark hole your opponent, or you might even want to dark hole yourself because like I said you can't have any monsters in the zone to activate this guy, so, you know, you might want to just dark hole yourself and your opponent, play this guy in the zone, play the other guy, and go ahead and pendulum summon. So you got a nice clear field to go ahead and pendulum summon. Run three upstar, because, you know, this deck is trying to, you know, get to the cards that you need quicker, so you can go ahead and give them the, the life points, because, you know, you're just going to be pendulum summoning and kicking the crap out of them anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Run three Royal Decrees just to lock down the back row because this deck is really weak to back row. So if you get hit with back row, you probably will lose. So definitely lock it down with Royal Decree. Go ahead and Pendulum Summon and just kick the crap out of your opponent because they can't activate any traps. Run three Reckless. I know we run the Royal Decree, but if you play Reckless right, you know you can definitely draw a whole bunch of cards and get yourself set up. Reckless Greed is definitely a card that's very powerful. Uh, you know, not only because it stacks and you can draw six cards with only skipping two draw phases, but pretty much puts you two turns ahead of your opponent. Uh, in my opinion, this card should definitely be at one, but that's a separate video that I'll be talking about, you know, when the upcoming ban list comes up. And we run one Torrental Tribute, because just like Dark Hole, you know, you're a slow deck, your opponent will probably be beating you while you're shutting up, so go ahead and Torrental them, or you can Torrental yourself a little bit, get your field empty, and go ahead and Pendulum Summon. Go to the extra deck, we run one Star of Spark, because this deck can make it, and then you go start a spark and equip it with a violent prison. That's pretty powerful. One scrap dragon, because scrap dragon plus equip with a violent prison is also very powerful. And you can also select the violent prison as your target to blow up with scrap dragon. And crimson blader, because this deck can make it, and also crimson blader is awesome. Two constellar omega, because fuck back row. One exiton, because it's exiton. Two 101s, because this deck can make 101, and you know, 101's awesome. One cowboy, because bang bang skeet skeet gg. One Paladimino, uh, because Paladimino is pretty good in certain situations. There's certain situations that 101 can handle that Paladimino can. One Abyss Dweller, because fuck graveyard effects. One Heartland Draco, because he can go for uh, direct attack. And also, your Pendulum Monsters are spell, so your opponent won't be able to attack Heartland Draco. Oh, I run two Paladimino. Oh, okay, fine. Two Paladimino then. I don't know why you were over there and not with your brother, but whatever. One level of chain because you can go ahead and get your pendulum set up because you know pendulum monsters do count as monsters, so you can go ahead and detect some material, take one of the pendulum monsters, put it on top of your deck, next turn draw it, and then go into your pendulum place. And one diamond dog wolf to destroy problem cards. Because you know those problem cards do occur against this deck. Alright, and that's pretty much it. Overall opinions. It seemed good on paper, but it really wasn't working. Um like I said in my pendulum uh video. Um, if you're an archetype, don't even try it, and I'll clip it, this is an archetype. It might be a loose-fitting archetype, but it's still an archetype within itself, so it has plays that, you know, it wants to get off, it wants to have the Paw Hunter with the Maw Hunter, and it, it doesn't really want the Pendulums, because the Pendulums really don't have any synergy with the deck, so it can't get in the way. Of course, you gotta run, you know, your traps and your spells, which also take room from the Pendulums. So, overall, it was good on paper, and I did a Pendulum Summon once, but overall, uh, the majority of the time, it just wasn't working, so I'd say leave Pendulums out. Just stick with the regular Thunder Family. Just stick with regular Hunters. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and call that deck profile. So, like I said, uh, if you really want to see the episode of Daily Duels, it will be up at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4:30 p.m. Eastern Time, whatever time you guys are at. You know, Google is your friend. Go ahead and just calculate the conversion on Google. If it's too late for you, I'm sorry. You can watch it tomorrow. It's not going anywhere. 
But uh, yeah, we will be using Pendulum Chaos Dragons, which is the correct deck that you should be using Pendulums for. They have a high monster count, don't really care about spells and traps. Um, they have Tree of Synergy, the Odd Eyes works well with the Eat Dragons, and it also works well with um, cards like Light Pulsar and Dark Flare, so um, yeah, that's a better deck, so going to get to see another episode of that, so thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, thank you guys for supporting this Thunder Family deck, uh, if you want to, if you guys want to go ahead and build it and test it out yourself, I don't really care, just do your thing, so thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys later, thanks for watching.